you know, for me, like throughout the years, I've done like almost more than a hundred workshops all over the world and some virtual ones. And of course, what you said is something I've seen again and again and again and again, which is when the leader is taking part, not just being there for the sake of just being present uh, or they see them, but they are really engaged. They are really interested because this is, I mean, let's take the football as a metaphor, okay? I mean, the coach, the leader is there, but he's like so engaged in everything they are doing because he knows or she knows that every minute of this training will influence the results in the future. I don't know why in management, in, in sales, it, uh, it's a little bit different. Uh, but basically being there and being so passionate and interested in everything that's going on, because this is where you are molding, you are creating, you are transforming the capabilities of your people. And you should be excited that you are part of this. You should be excited that you are there with them, seeing them getting transformed. Absolutely. I mean, this is this is so important, like being the role model, showing and 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 walking walking the talk. Actually, I think this is like it really makes a big difference. So, what would you say uh, for now that we are hopefully coming out of uh, of uh, of this? Uh, uh, crisis, uh, epidemic crisis, you know, I mean, we all know sales has changed, the approach has changed, communication has changed, uh, obviously also the leadership has changed because, I mean, a lot of people still in the home office, uh, uh, teams not sitting in the same office, sitting in different locations, so a lot of remote and virtual communication. Uh, what would you say, uh, you know, like a fundamentals for a, for, a, for a sales leader now, let's call it post post-pandemic, uh, phase, you know, to kind of make sure that, you know, the team sticks together, the team collaborates, that the team is, is you know, is, is like motivated. And I, I always say, look, a salesperson has to have like a self-motivation. So if I need to motivate a salesperson, then it's a problem. Then it's a real problem. Then the salesperson has a problem because he or she will never be successful. But I'm talking more about the motivation in terms of collaboration, alignment, you know, with the goals of the company, yeah. the strategy, etc. What, what are yeah. your thoughts about I that? I think, so when we look at the virtual environment, what's happening basically? What's happening is the level of certainty, it goes lower, okay? So what this means is people, they, they when you go to the office, you see, you see people, you see like colleagues, you see the targets, maybe they are somewhere like on a on a uh, whiteboard, and and this creates some level of certainty. You have like this face to face meetings, so mm -hmm. one of the first thing you want to do as a leader in this virtual environment, you want to create this certainty, and this certainty gets created by having a, a regular meetings, very engaging meetings. This is one. The other one is very clear and visibility on the targets, on the goals, mm -hmm. uh, on the KPIs. And, and there is like one central place which is always updated and people could go there and see them. And creating a space also for collaborating. It could be collaborating on a presentation, could be collaborating on a document, but one place where people could go there and, and, and see it and work on it, etc. The other thing is what's really getting diluted in the virtual environment is the sense of collaboration, right? Because again, when we are at the office, we are all, all of us are there. But when you are virtually, it's, we are not there. So as a leader, you want to create this sense of connection. And one of the best ways to do it is having very engaging meetings. Uh, and, and of course, this is when you have the live, live meetings. So you have like this connection. It creates this team spirit, especially when you engage everyone and you ensure that everyone, you have a check-in. And it's so important to have a check-in at the beginning of a meeting to get everyone tuned in and check out, which is what does, you know, what's your takeaway, what are your takeaways from this discussion or from this meeting, what you're going to do differently. Uh, but also, this is the live, this is the live part. This is a live meeting. But then also the asynchronous, which means what's happening in between the meetings to ensure that there is team spirit in the virtual environment. And here... There are so many tools today which can create this team spirit by having like one page for the team where there's picture of the team, for example, there are some updates uh, about the team performance about. So it's like one place 
where people work together, but people could update things and they feel that they belong to each other, right? So these are, yeah. these are the two things that are much more like saying, I can talk about the sense of purpose. I can talk about sense of uh, improvement, uh, but this would be the foundation. Certainty and collaboration is you want to ensure that they are there. And these are actually the fundamentals. Uh, it's not just a theory, but I mean, we both have, have a lot of experience with, with uh, these fundamentals, with the programs which we are running or we have been running together or are running together or, you know, you have your own, I have my own as well. And I think that the big difference in the success comes when people start collaborating, when they have like a sense of belonging to a team. And I realized it, especially now in the last 12 months, where all the trainings were online and, and I got a lot of feedbacks from the people, from the participants actually, uh, which were saying, Hey, this felt like a team building event when it was actually not a team building event. It was a, a training. It was a, exactly. a, a development program. Right. And, and this is, this is for me, like, this was one of the, of the, you know, of the uh, best feedbacks that I received. It was, it made me so, so happy because it confirms exactly what you just said is people belong to a team. The feel together, they they and especially when you are all sitting in your home office, uh, you know, connecting uh, on a regular basis is like really really crucial and making uh, you know the the fact that you collaborate together on the same on the same target on the same topic and you're all sitting in the same boat. I think this is like really bonding so much. It's really really very very absolutely uh, important. And you know, knowing you and and we we work together on different project programs, uh, it this comes of course from your own mindset toward how you look at the at the sales workforce, which is you always see them as a team. I always see them as a team, and that's why when you are designing these programs, you are designing them in a way you connect them to each other. It's a little it's the same experience you had now. It's like with with a company in the Middle East, a leading company. It was helping them with something for the you know, well-being, uh, and and it was so. What we did, we created like a challenge for them, and each one was updating their challenge. It was one month, and some of the comments at the end, they were like, "Oh, this 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 program helped helped me know all my other colleagues." I mean, I used to go to the office even, and I see them, but I really didn't know them that much. And, and it was a side effect of this intervention, right? And this is something actually we've done, we've done again and again and again, like together in our previous um, life as well uh, in the corporate world. Uh, we, we did like this, those programs in Switzerland, we did in Brazil, we did the global programs with other programs, but all of them in a way created this deep sense of collaboration, deep sense of teamwork. Like people, I mean, I will never forget this actually, we were in Basel and we were doing at the end of this program. We were we were running together, uh, which was called the CDX Commercial Development Excellence, and we had people from product, people from operation, people from sales. And usually, these people they always you know fight each other. But then at the end of the program, they were standing up and saying like, "I will help you become the best and perform. You get the best numbers in all the years you worked in this company." Yeah. And then someone else standing, I said, like, I love you guys and I will help you, you know, to, to get the best uh, targets this year, the best customer that you are after. And this was like, it's a, it's a huge. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, this was this, I remember, I remember these words very well. And uh, still today I get like uh, really excited, you know, hearing and remembering, uh, remembering yeah. that. I mean, this, this is just uh, an example on how, much deeper it goes than just the training. Uh, yeah. It's much more than just the training. It's much more than just, you know, learning a new skill. It's like bonding within the team. And, and also, and I think that's also an important topic is the alignment with the goals and targets and objective of the company. And of course, much deeper even with the values, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I think this is very, very important. This this I connection. Think.